Hello, person that typed in a very particular search phrase in order to run across this. I guess you want to know. Does the XTouch Compat work with Linux? And maybe you want to know whether or not it works with a door. To save you from watching the rest of the video, and maybe you're adventurous and you can figure it out yourself. Yes, 100%. A door even has a preset for the Mac control mode. Wicked simple, and it is programmable and generic MIDI with USB, or you can use in and out with your MIDI cables if you have those floating around. I did try it in Reaper and Bitvig with limited to no success, so that's why I'm going to be covering our door. We'll try to get in and out in under five minutes. So let's go. Okay, let's get started with this nonsense. Um, First thing we need to do is put it in Mackie mode. Easy enough. Hold down the first record and power it up. You'll see that the light goes into MC. That's what that business is. Okay, now we need to start Jack. Takes a minute because my interface is Firewire. Up next, also export hardware and start the MIDI bridge. I'm gonna check it. And yes, you can see we have our MIDI for our X-Touch Compact. I'm just going to cut the Pulse Audio tie-ins. And now, let's play with a door. Because that's gonna be fun. Really, this is quite simple. I mean, 100%, there, there's not much to this. Okay, so we have it in Mackie mode. You can see that it picked it up. So how did we do that? Let's go to the preferences and let's go down to control surfaces. You can see I have Mackie selected. And if we just double click here, you can see surface send and surface receives. And they're just set. You have a couple options, the X-Touch, uh, the X-Touch Compact and the Mini. Just make sure they are set to that. And Really, that's all you have to do. If we just open up the mixer, all the controls are there. I mean, you're gonna have your faders. You can see it's calibrating things right now, but once you go through that, you'll be fine. But it is spooky, fun to watch, but you can see the default layout. You have your records, your mutes, uh, you can solo tracks, and your trim pots at the top, that's gonna control your left and right balance. Now, it's got multiple modes. If I highlight a track and I press there, that's going to give me a different bank to control the actual trim. And you can see the other controls here, in and out, and I can lock info. It's like that. Actually, look at the manual. It's almost helpful, but you can switch it back and just go to your panning left and right. And master your transport controls work as you would expect, you know, record, pause, uh, play. And as you can see here, it's bankable. So I can adjust, you know, I can have, ooh, how many do we have? Eight, 16 total. So you can switch back and forth between those on the fly. And it works fine, but I don't really mess around with my auxiliary sins. I take care of that. So let's see, what do we want to do next? Okay, let's say you want to program it as a generic MIDI interface. Easy enough to do. Cut it off, hold that magic button down, and watch it blink. And it does a dance. Okay, and you can see the MCM light is off. So let's connect it. All right, that should be good. We shouldn't have to do anything. Um, now programming it in Adore. You can see for some reason that first one works. I guess, oh, I had it mapped earlier, but I didn't finish doing it. All right, we can pop this open. Now what I'm going to be doing now is holding down control and middle clicking. And this window will pop up. 
and you can program anything that you want it to do. Well, that, that's just a fader. There, there's not much to that. Let's say we want to add mute and change where the mute is. I'll put mute here. Done. And record. And again, it's just control, middle click on the mouse. And I think we can change that trim so it'll be permanently on the first panel. And you can do multiple layers with this. It's uh, pretty dead simple. And one thing you want to make sure that you do, though, is save the profile. Or save the template, I believe Audacity calls it a template. Uh, let's see. We can, yeah, session, save template, and that'll be good. You might have to reset your in and out on your MIDI and tap your faders when you start next time, but that'll do it. Brilliant. Have fun. Go make cool stuff.